Hi, and welcome everybody. Listen, if you're struggling as a new freight agent to find a job to get hired as a new freight agent with no experience or a book of business, then you definitely want to stick around because that's what I'm going to cover today. I'm going to share with you five simple steps that you can take to get hired as a freight agent, even if you don't have past experience or a book of business. Okay. That's what we're going to talk about today. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we're going to do today. I just got back in from out of town and I'm trying to play catch up here, but I wanted to make sure we did this live today. Thank you so much. I do these Freight Breaker Bootcamp Lives every Monday at noon. And so uh, if you've been here before, hit me up in the comments with the city and state. Let me know where you're logging in from. If you're new to the stream and this is your first time, hit me up. Let me know that you this is your first time. If you're an existing Freight Burger Bootcamp student, someone who's already enrolled in my Freight Burger Bootcamp training or my Freight Burger Sales Accelerator, make sure you let me know that in the comments. I'll try to give you guys some shout outs. Um, today, again, we are gonna cover how to get hired as a freight agent with no experience or book a business in five simple steps. That's what I'm gonna cover for you. So if you are new and you're curious about becoming a freight agent, or if you're not sure if you know, going the full route of becoming a freight broker and getting licensed um, you know, is for you, then stick around because I have <clears throat> had freight agents that worked for me that made six figures per year and even six figures per month. Right. So I know that's hard to believe, but it's true. I've also had many people who have went through Freight Broker Bootcamp, which is my online freight broker freight agent training program. You can check that out at freightbrokerbootcamp.com. Had many students go through that are now making six and seven figures as freight agents. Okay. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know what's going on. Let's see what we got here. Uh, again, we're going to hit some people live. Here's the agenda we're going to do the training. Then we're going to do a giveaway. We'll give away a Freightpreneur t-shirt like we normally do. And then at the end, we will do live Q&A, which means you can come up, ask questions in the comments, and I will do my absolutely best, best to try to answer your questions. I'll try to get to as many questions as I can in the time allotted. And so that's the agenda. So let's see what we got here. We've got whole, uh, Holistic Logistics from Kennesaw, Georgia. James Meyer, welcome. Uh, we've got, uh, ba, 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 ba. Joe Mighty from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We got Michelle from Little Rock, Michelle Nelson. We got Kevin Ford, uh, first timer in live and enrolled in FBBC. Awesome. Russ Peters, also a Freight Burger Bootcamp student, Salt Lake City. Uh, Abby Duncan just enrolled. Awesome. Abby, thank you for joining. I'm sure you're going to, you're going to learn a lot. Uh, let's see. Ozan from Lincoln, Nebraska, glorious Britain, first timer. Uh, ba, 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 ba. we've got you smoke. <laughs> we've got a youth with a really interesting name. Uh, it says, good morning. I have a lot of questions about freight broker training. Okay, cool. We will be doing Q and a at the end. You got to hold your questions to the end. They will get lost in the feed. If you start to do them now or even throughout the training. Okay. So I'll let you know into any of your questions. So we get a lot of people joining us. Uh, thank you for being here. Truly appreciate it. Again, if, uh, if you if you're if you're a fan of Freight Burger Bootcamp, if you've been here before, or you're really really serious about becoming a Freight Burger, hit the like button right now. This didn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free. There was no credit card to get enrolled or to get started here in this live. Just go to uh, just hit the like hit the <laughs> hit the the like button. Whether you're on YouTube, whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on LinkedIn, wherever you're at, and uh, share the stream. That's the price of admission. It costs you nothing else to be a part of this free training. So. Where are we at? We got a bunch of people getting live. And if you're catching us on replay, hit me up in the comments with hashtag replay. I love to hear from my replay folks. I know sometimes you can't make it in the middle of the day, um, but I do want to hear from you. I promise you, I, I have not forgotten about you. I know a lot of people catch this on replay. More, Way more people catch us on replay than catch it live. So I should probably cater more to those people because they are the people that really are, are making up the masses of people that actually watch these trainings. And if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, you're absolutely positively missing the boat. Okay. Let me put up a banner here really quick for you guys to quickly see where you can subscribe to that. We have, I think we have two, almost 300. Where is it? Oh, here it is. We have two, three, two or 300 um, free freight broker training videos that you guys can access instantly. Just go to youtube.com forward slash freight brokers. You might already be there because you might be streaming it. Hit the subscribe button. 
and then hit the all notification bell. And anytime a new live comes up, it's scheduled. Anytime a new video goes live, anytime a short, a training, anything goes live, you'll get notified. Okay. And then you'll immediately get notified. You'll never miss any of this free training. Okay. All right. So, wow. I feel a little out of sorts here. I was traveling last week. I was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. First time I'd ever been there. I was out there for the division one, uh, NCAA wrestling championship. So it's the national tournament for wrestling. If anybody wrestled in high school or in college or was a fan of wrestling, hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And, uh, we were out there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, got back yesterday. It was a long couple of days, long travel, but I'm ready to go today. And again, here's the agenda, live training, uh, giveaway of the Freypreneur t-shirt, and then we're going to do Q and a hold your questions to the end. All right. So got a bunch of notes to go over. And let me grab a quick drink, and then we are going to get the ball rolling. All right, so where are we at here? All right, so if you're struggling to get hired as a freight agent, if you can't get hired, if you're having a hard time getting hired because you don't have experience or you don't have a book of business, lean in, all right? I want you to lean in because... I'm going to share with you five simple steps today on how to get hired as a freight agent without experience and without a book of business. I have helped hundreds and hundreds of my students to get hired as freight agents following this five step process. Okay. And if you stick around to the end, I will actually share a link with you where you can download a cheat sheet that summarizes this whole thing, which will save you a whole bunch of scribbling notes down during this live, but you got to stick around to the end to get that link. Um, I also will share a bonus tip with you. Okay. That bonus tip is something that a lot of people forget about and can really, really make a huge difference. All right. So here we go, guys. Number one, step number one, you need to get trained. Now you can get trained in a variety of different formats. You can go try to get a W-2 position and get hired as an actual employee inside of a local freight brokerage. That's one way to do it. You can go to a classroom type training where you, you know, kind of like a college or, you know, a hotel where you travel and somebody comes in and trains you face to face. There's pros and cons to all of these. I personally have trained over 10,000 students in my online freight broker and freight agent training program. It's 100% online, 100% remote. You don't need to travel. You don't need to schedule time away from your family or your job. You can check that out at freightbrokerbootcamp.com. That's how I prefer to learn, all right? So those are a variety of ways you can get trained. And the important part of getting trained is this. Number one, you need to learn the lingo, the language, and how people talk inside this industry because every industry has its nuances and has its language, okay? That's number one. Number two, you need to learn the processes, the processes around getting customers, the processes around posting loads, around finding carriers, around billing, around hiring, around all of the, and then that's going to include obviously best practices associated with getting customers, developing carrier relationships, um, increasing your profits, marketing, the sales, all of that. Okay. So you got to get trained. Now that doesn't mean it's going to take you a year or two or three years to get trained. You know, my Freight Burger Bootcamp online training program, most of my students complete that program in somewhere between four and eight hours over a two to four week period of time. You learn that process. That's the fundamental. That's the foundation of getting started as a freight broker or a freight agent. Okay. So that's number one. Number two, you should set up a LinkedIn profile. Now LinkedIn, in case you haven't heard, is the world's largest social network for businesses, for business executives and owners and salespeople and marketers and anybody and everybody in business. It's kind of like Facebook for business, but it's way, way better without all the BS and political and, and, you know, cat videos. Okay. So yeah, uh, LinkedIn is a free resource, a free tool where you can get signed up absolutely free, costs you nothing. You set up a profile, kind of like a Facebook profile or an Instagram profile, similar to that, but it's all business related. So it's basically a business bio, right? It allows, and the reason why you want to do this is number one, um, when people search for you on Google, one of the first things that will typically come up if you optimize your profile on LinkedIn the right way is your LinkedIn profile, especially as a freight agent, okay? So 
if you were to contact a broker or you were to contact a shipper or whatever the case may be, and they're going to do a little bit of due diligence on you and they type in there, Joe Smith freight broker or Joe Smith, and then your company name, your LinkedIn profile is probably one of the first things that's going to come up. Okay. And you absolutely can use that to make a good first impression. Now you need to optimize that profile. And I don't have a lot of time to get into that right now. There's lots of information online. As a matter of fact, I include some resources in the cheat sheet that I'm going to share with you at the end, stick around and I'm going to give you the link to that cheat sheet on the back end of this training. Okay. So that's number two, set up and optimize your LinkedIn profile. Step number three, you're going to want to visit. Let me share with you. You're going to want to visit freightburgerbootcamp.com forward slash jobs. This is the only job board specifically designed and created for freight brokers and freight agents. It's absolutely free. You can post a job there if you're an employer looking to hire agents or brokers, or you can apply to jobs there if you are a freight agent, new or old. A lot of the jobs on this, in, on this job board do not require uh, experience like this perfect example. No book of business required, no experience. You know, other ones, if you are a freight broker bootcamp trained agent, you'll earn 50% commission on that. So you do, you are not required to have experience. Now, at any given point, there might be five or 10 or more jobs that are listed here for freight agents. So you can check that out at freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash jobs. Now, that's one resource where you can check that out. Okay. You could also build a list of local brokerages in your area. So I like to start from local. So you would go on Google or go to some directory, local directory, and you would find, I, I live in the Buffalo, New York area. I would hit freight brokers, Buffalo, New York. And it's probably going to give me a list of different freight brokers in the area. I would make that list and I would focus on the small to medium sized brokerages. Here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to go after the large brokerages like CH Robinson or Total Quality Logistics or Coyote or any of the large brokerages. Most of them do not have agent programs. And even if they did, they probably wouldn't hire you with no experience or a book. So what you want to do is you want to find small to medium sized companies, companies that have been around for maybe a year to two to three to five years that are looking to grow. And you can become a, an important part of that working with them in partnership as a freight agent and their risk is literally zero. Okay. So that's number two. You're going to make a list between the freight broker bootcamp.com forward slash jobs and probably LinkedIn and Google is where you would continue to make that list. Okay. So that's number three. Number four, you are going to connect with the hiring managers or the owners or the sales managers or somebody in that organization that's going to be hiring either via LinkedIn, email, phone, or face-to-face -face if they're local. So you're going to do some outreach to them. You're going to connect with them. You're going to engage with them. You're going to start building some rapport with them and you're going to start a dialogue. When I tell you LinkedIn, email, phone, face-to-face, -face, if I really wanted to get hired, I'd probably use all four. Okay. Now, if you have a job ad on freightbreakerbootcamp.com forward slash jobs, you'll be able to apply right there, get the resume over to them and start the dialogue, right? Because if you applied through there, they're typically going to respond back to you uh, if you followed the instructions. So yeah, you're going to want to start a dialogue with them. All right. And that's the important part. You got to just like sales, just like going out and soliciting customers or carriers, you're going to need to go out and reach out to them. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. Not everybody you reach out to and not everybody that you apply for is going to give you an opportunity as a freight agent. That's just the way it is. You may not be a good fit for their organization. It may be bad timing or a variety of things. But I promise you that if you get trained, optimize your profile, make a list as I've identified from some of the sources, and you connect and engage with them and start a dialogue, you will have an opportunity. It might take you 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 different calls or conversations with different brokerages, but ultimately you will get an opportunity because what you're doing at that point is you're creating and proposing a risk-free situation for them, right? You're telling them you're willing to work on straight commission, typically 50% to start. You're self-sufficient. You'll work remote. They don't need to buy you a computer. They don't need to pay for internet access. They don't need to give you health insurance. They don't need to give you retirement. They don't need to do any of that because you are an independent contractor. You're your own business owner. 
And the only time they'll have to pay you is when you bring new customers to the table and generate profit. So it's a win, win, win for everybody. Okay. So that's step number four. All right. Step number five is you have to, again, ask them for the opportunity. I kind of put the cart before the horse there with number four, but you have to ask them for an opportunity. But more important than asking them for an opportunity, you have to tell them why. You have to share with them your why. You have to explain to them why it's so important to you to become a freight agent. Maybe you'll talk a little bit about your backstory on how you've been a driver for five or 10 or 15 years and you need to get off the road to take care of your family. Maybe you're the spouse of a truck driver or someone who owns a trucking company and you need, to, you need to supplement the income. Maybe you own a trucking company and you're looking to increase revenue and help service and support you know, some of your existing customers better. Maybe you're brand new to the industry or you are a shipping manager and for whatever reason you got downsized and some corporate layoff, but you love logistics and you've got, it's in your blood. So you got to share your why. That's the important part, right? That's what's going to differentiate you from every other job application there. And again, a lot of times if you position it properly with your LinkedIn profile and you do this outreach, I promise you, you will get an opportunity. I've never, I've challenged hundreds of people to this. If you follow my process and you connect and engage with 40 or more different brokerages, right? This 40, not, we're not talking about 400, just 40 or more. And you don't get a job. I'll give you a hundred bucks. I promise you it works. Nobody, I've never had to pay anybody. I've never had to pay anybody because everybody's always gotten an opportunity if they follow these simple steps. All right. So that was number five, right? You got to ask for an opportunity and you got to share your why. And here is the bonus tip, but I want you to stick around because I'm going to give you a link to the cheat sheet in just a minute. The bonus tip is this. If for some reason this five-step process does not work for you, reaching out to Freight Brokers Direct for whatever reason, I'm not going to, I don't want you to make any excuses and I'm not going to make any excuses for you. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go on LinkedIn and you are going to search for freight agents. You're going to find some established freight agents, 10 or 20 agents that have been in business a year or two or three or five or maybe 20 years or more. They've got experience. They're working for a reputable company. And you're going to go and repeat steps one through five with those freight agents. Now, the reason why you're going to do this is because you are going to look at this point to get hired as what's called a sub agent. So you would not be working directly for the brokerage, meaning you would not have a contract with them. You would work directly for the freight agent as a sub agent. Now that sub agent is going to get paid a commission similar to a broker, maybe 50%, maybe a little bit less to get started, but it gets your foot in the door. It gets you started. It allows you to start building a book of business, start making profit. And at that point, you may choose to stay as a sub agent or you may go out on your own eventually and become an agent or a broker. That really is up to you, but that's the bonus tip. Okay. So again, if for some reason you're not getting the type of results that you want, reaching out to brokers, follow this exact same process for freight agents and you will be absolutely shocked how willing and open they are to help you get started. Okay. So that was the bonus tip, but here, listen, here is the cheat sheet. Write this down really quick. It is, you're going to go to freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash get hired. Okay. That's going to give you a link where you can access the cheat sheet. Okay. I'm actually, yeah. So it's freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash get hired. I'm actually going to create it right here as we go. Freightbrokerbootcamp.com slash get hired. Okay. That's where you need to go. Freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash get hired is where you need to go in order to download the cheat sheet, which summarizes this entire training. Okay. So, uh, it, but after you get that, after you get access to that, follow those steps. But if you are curious about becoming a freight agent or a freight broker, and you just need some help and you're looking to connect the dots, I've trained over 10,000 students been in business well over a decade with the training business, done over $200 million as a freight broker myself. You can check out my training at freightbrokerbootcamp.com. Again, we offer a 60-day, 100% unconditional money-back guarantee. I can't make it any better than that. Hope you guys enjoyed the training.
Make sure you click the like button, subscribe on YouTube, and we'll see you next week. All right, wait, hold tight. Hold tight, guys. Don't disappear. Don't disappear because we still have to do the giveaway and we still have to do the live Q&A. Hold your questions. Do not type your questions in the chat box yet, okay? Do not type your questions in the chat box, all right? So, um, all right, cool. Let me grab a drink. If you guys want access to that cheat sheet, it's absolutely free. You just got to go to freightburgerbootcamp.com forward slash get hired, okay? That will summarize everything I went over in today's training, all right? And you can bring it with you. You can print it out. You can do whatever you want with it, all right? All right, so we're still going to do the giveaway. We're going to give away a Freightpreneur t-shirt, and then we're going to do live Q&A. Depending upon where we are with time, we'll de de determine how long, okay? Let me get rid of that. Okay. Cool. All right, so what do we got here? All right, so we got a bunch of people that are probably going to have questions. I want you to hold those questions. Now, if you want a chance to win the Freightpreneur t-shirt, someone who solves problems you don't know you have in ways you can't understand, listen carefully. Number one, you have to be in the United States. I don't ship these internationally, okay? Sorry about that. I just don't do it. So you have to be in the United States, okay? Um, here's all you got to do. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to pull out your smartphone. Pull out your smartphone right now iPhone, Google, whatever you got, all right? I don't care what it is. And pull up your favorite podcast app on Apple. It's your Apple podcast app on Google on Google phones or Androids. You're probably going to go on Spotify or Pandora or Google Podcast, any podcast app where you listen to music or podcasts, okay? And you're going to search for Freight Broker Bootcamp. Now, you're going to search for Freight Broker Bootcamp. And what it's going to do is it's going to you're going to see a logo with my bald, shiny head and Freightburger Bootcamp. Okay. I don't know if you can see that really well, but you're going to pull that up and you're going to rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast. Now, it's absolutely free. There are over 160 free audio trainings on there that you can listen to when you're walking the dog, when you're working out on the treadmill, when you're driving in your car, whatever the case may be. My favorite place to listen is when I'm driving, okay? I listen, you know, my trips are usually 10, 20 minutes at a time. And these episodes are usually pretty short. They're usually somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes. So you can consume an entire episode in one short trip. So you gotta go rate, review, and subscribe, and then come back in to the uh, comments in this stream and let me know, you rated, reviewed, subscribed on Apple, rated, reviewed, subscribed on Google or Spotify or wherever. Now you have to type it that way in the comments. The only way you're going to qualify for this giveaway is a possible, you're possibly going to win a shirt because I'm only going to give away one is you got to say rate, reviewed, and subscribed Apple, rate, reviewed, and subscribed Spotify. Okay. I'm very particular about that because when I scroll through down through and close my eyes and randomly pick somebody. I want to make sure that I only have to do this one time, all right? And that I pick someone who's actually done what I suggested and to qualify, all right? So that's all you got to do. Go to wherever you listen to podcasts. We've got over three, we've got 313 five-star reviews from people who listen to the podcast. You can look at them there on Apple. We've been ranked in the top 100 out of all entrepreneur podcasts on Apple, Okay. There are tens of thousands of entrepreneur related podcasts on Apple and we've been ranked in the top 100 and that's all because of the, the people that listen to Freightburger Bootcamp, the Freightburger Bootcamp community. Um, so yeah, all you got to do is go to there, go to wherever you listen to podcasts, search Freightburger Bootcamp, rate, review and subscribe. Okay. All three come back into the comments. Let me know you did that. And I'm going to pick one winner and then we're going to move on to Q and a, but hold your questions. Okay. Hold your questions. All right, Glorious Britain did it. Rate, reviewed, subscribed on Apple. Awesome, perfect. And again, this is a this is an honor system. You know, on the back end, if I have to ask you to prove it, then there's probably something wrong. I'm hoping that you're willing to take 30 to 60 seconds to actually just check out the podcast, rate, review, and subscribe. Give us a quick and give us an honest review. I don't care what it is. If it's if you think it sucks, give it a one. Um, but if you don't like it, let me know why. Give me some feedback on why. I want to improve it. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get some feedback from people on how I can improve the quality and the type of training that I'm providing to you, my free training, as well as my paid courses at freightbrokerbootcamp.com. Okay. 
So, man, I'm talking fast. Man, I'm, I'm flying. I probably drank a little bit too much caffeine this morning. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. I've been off for, geez, I've been gone for, it seems like four or five days now. And that's unusual for me. So we got a, several people who have rate, reviewed, and subscribed. We're going to give it another one minute. We're going to do the giveaway. And then we're going to do live Q&A. You can ask any questions you want in the live Q&A. Once I give you the cue to start asking questions, you'll be able to ask me any questions about freight broker sales, getting customers, finding carriers, rating, um, how to set up your brokerage, how to set up your agency, how to get your license, how to, you know, anything and everything is, is up for grabs. I will do my absolute best to try to answer it. And if I don't have the answer, I'll try to point you in the right direction. And, um, and I'm going to do that with as many people as I can in the time allotted. Here's what I know. I will not get to everybody's question. I never am able to get to everybody's questions. Usually there's 50 or more questions during these Q and A's, sometimes a hundred. And, um, it's just impossible to get to everybody's questions. Okay. Uh, Abby on Spotify. Yeah. If you search for freight broker bootcamp. Let's see. I'm going to try to see what I'm seeing here. If you search freight broker boot camp. Okay. If you search freight broker boot camp, yeah, I come up. Here it is right here. You can see there's a, there's a ton of episodes right there. Okay. So yeah, I typed freight broker boot camp into the Spotify app and you can type shows. And even when you do shows, it comes up freight broker boot camp. Okay. You got to make sure you spell it correctly. And it's four different words, freight broker boot camp. All right. We have a ton of people that listen on Spotify and we've got a bunch of reviews, rate, rating and reviews there. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure that people are able to find it. I hope you, I hope you're able to find it. All right. 30 more seconds. No questions yet, Hector. Q and A is we're not doing Q and A yet. I know you're trying to time it. So you're the first question. I will let you know when the first question is going to go, when I'm going to start accepting questions. If you start now, you're going to get lost in the feed. Okay. I promise. And, and, and that's, first of all, that's an impossible question. You're going to want to rephrase that. <laughs> what? Okay. All right, cool. 15 seconds. And we're going to start the Q and A. Hold on, or we're going to do the, uh, we're going to do the giveaway, I should say, and then we're going to do the Q&A. All right, Abby found it. Awesome. All right, cool. Listen, we're going to do the giveaway. Here we go. I'm going to randomly pick one winner. And the winner is Rajinder Kaur. Rajinder, rate, reviewed, subscribed on Apple. Rajinder, you are the winner of the Freightpreneur t-shirt. Congratulations. Here's all you got to do. Go to my Freight Broker Bootcamp Facebook page. So on Facebook, type Freight Burger Bootcamp. You'll see the, the, the page, all right? Like the page and then message me your full name, your mailing address, and your size. This is a, I think this is a large, they, they're unisex sizing. So, you know, small, medium, large, extra large, right? And let me know in that message that you won the podcast t-shirt giveaway. Uh, once you send that to me, we'll process that within a day or two and you'll get your shirt within a couple of weeks. Okay. It's absolutely free. Again, freightpreneur, someone who solves problems you don't know you have in ways you can't understand. Congratulations, Rajinder. You are the winner of today's Freightpreneur t-shirt. Congratulations. Thank you for everybody that played along. If you haven't won yet, come back next week. I usually give away either a shirt or some cash every single week. And, um, there we are. So let me grab a drink. All right, so here we go. Hector and everybody else, type your questions in the chat box and I will do my absolute best to try to answer those questions. They come fast and furious. I will not get to all of them. I promise that uh, if I don't get to your question today, I'll try to come back in during the week and maybe answer it in the thread or private message you if I can. If not, come back next week and we'll be here for another Freight Breaker Bootcamp live training. All right, so Hector, <laughs> Hector asks, what is a fair price to pay a carrier for a truck order not used or layover? Well, you know, it's kind of subjective, right? So let's look at truck order not used. Layovers are all over the board. I'm going to address truck order not used. I would say most carriers are going to be looking for somewhere between 150 
and $250 for a truck ordered, not used. Now, if you don't know what a truck ordered, not used is, is this. A shipper gives me the broker a load. I then cover that load. It's going to pick up tomorrow. And I dispatch the driver into that pickup location. Truck order not used typically doesn't happen until you dispatch into the pickup location, right? So a truck order not used, I dispatch the truck into the pickup location. And before they're able to get there, the shipper cancels the load. Okay. So it's a canceled load, truck ordered, not used, right? So they ordered a truck, we dispatched a truck, and now um, the shipper should compensate you, the broker and the carrier for the work done. Now, I always did a pass through on these. So I didn't make any profit off truck order not used. Typically, we would charge $150 to the shipper for that. But you'll probably find that that price will fall somewhere between $150 and $250. Shippers, you want to discuss that with shippers up front. Obviously, if there's any sort of issues, you could put that on your accessorial charges. You could make that a part of your freight broker agreement with your shippers. But yeah, you absolutely should be compensating carriers for truck order not used, uh, assuming that they were dispatched into the pickup location or depending upon the criteria that you set up. Some carriers are going to say within 24 hours, but typically it's upon dispatch. Good question. Okay, Abby says, I'm struggling with getting other agents to give me a chance. Now, I'm assuming, Abby, you're trying to become a sub-agent, okay? Now, as a sub-agent, if you're trying to become a sub-agent of an established agent, so here's where you're going here's, to here's where you're going to struggle. Okay, with getting hired by anybody. If you haven't been trained, if you don't speak the lingo, if you don't understand the basic processes and fundamentals of what a freight broker or freight agent does, I'm not saying you don't, but I'm sharing this for everybody. If you don't understand that and you haven't been trained and you can't talk the lingo, then you're going to struggle because what freight agents don't want to do is they don't want to train you as a sub agent, they'll support you as a sub agent but they don't want to train you. Why? They don't want to train you because they have their own book of business and they have their own customers and they have their own carriers and they have their own loads that they have to focus on because a lot of times agents are solo. They're solo agents or maybe they have one or two support people that help them with check calls and posting loads and finding trucks. But ultimately agents are typically small businesses, one to two to three to five people and you as a sales or a sub agent, what you don't want to do is you don't want to present yourself as having to take up a bunch of resources. So if you call them and let them know and you tell them, hey, I want you to train me as an agent, I'll work on you as a sub agent, most agents are not going to want that, okay? They want you to be trained, they want you to be self-sufficient, and they want you, they're willing to support you and they'll give you a channel to start your business but what they're not going to do is they're not going to spend two or three or four hours a day training you, okay? Because that's going to take away from their existing business and the upside for them. Think about it. Let's say, for example, you've got an agent who's getting 60% commission, okay? So that means on a $200 profit load, they get $120, right? Just for easy math. If they pay, if they pay you 50% and they're going to keep 10%, right? The most they can make on that load and put in their own pocket is 20 bucks. You'd make 100, they'd make 20. And I'm just using easy math here, okay? I'm not saying they're going to pay you 50. I'm not saying they're getting paid 60. I'm just using a math equation. So they're normally getting paid 60 by the broker. And now they're going to pay you 50 and they're going to keep that 10%. The most they can make on that load is 20 bucks, right? So in volume, it can work for them. If you start doing $10,000 a month in profit, you know, yeah, they could get make a couple grand extra per month. But as a start out, you know, the key here, I think probably one of the things that freight agents want to hear the least or are more likely to walk away from with sub agents is if they feel like there's going to be an enormous amount of training involved. That's why you need to get trained. That's why I created Freight Broker Bootcamp. Uh, where you can get trained as a freight broker or a freight agent. That's where you can join my freight broker sales accelerator program, which is the sales side of it, where you can get trained on my entire freight broker sales system. Matter of fact, if you guys want to get on the wait list for that, it's sold out and it's not open for enrollment right now. But if you guys want to get on the wait list for the freight broker sales accelerator, which will open up next quarter, right? I just closed it out. 
Um, so yeah, we're going through that now. I've got a whole cohort, cohort of people. We're going to be going through that now, but, um, if you want to get on that wait list, you can get on the wait list. Um, but, and we'll notify you when we open back up for enrollment. Again, that's for the freight broker sales accelerator. If you're just looking to get started, you can check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com. So that's a couple of thoughts on, uh, Abby on probably why you're not getting a chance. I'd also make sure another tip would make sure to set up your LinkedIn profile and optimize your profile because you want to have, you want to be able to make a good first impression because again, before anybody hires you, they're going to do a little bit of research on you. Okay. And your LinkedIn profile is one of the best ways to do that, to make sure you're making a good first impression. So those are a couple of tips. The other tip, Abby, is go to freightburgerbootcamp.com forward slash jobs. And, um, Let me see. Let me share that with you. Go to freightburgerbootcamp.com forward slash jobs. That's actually if you want to get hired as an agent, but there's a lot of brokers on there that will hire you as an agent, not even a sub agent, but you can get hired as an agent. Here's the other thing I would tell you. If you are getting rejected, okay, and people are not giving the opportunity, you want to know one of the simplest uh, ways to hack the system and find and figure out how to get hired? Ask them. After it's all over, after they've given you the rejection, say, listen, thank you so much for your time. I truly appreciate it. Could you share with me the number one reason why you decided not to hire me or to work with me? And not everybody's going to answer that question, okay? Not everybody's going to answer that question. But if a few do, you're going to get some feedback on what you need to change. Maybe you didn't interview very well. Maybe they didn't, you know, whatever. There's something about you that just didn't feel right, all right? Whether that be as an agent or as a sub-agent. So I hope that helps. That's a few tips. Mm, let me see your comments. Boom, I got to go find. Let's see. Mark Townsend says, when you're quoting a spot load, would you quote the same price as a regular pre-scheduled load, basic, is the spot price going to be different or the same? Yeah, spot, the definition of spot pricing, there's spot and then there's contract, right? Contract rates are long-term dedicated rates, okay? So those are a rate, that's a rate that a shipper pays for based on either a volume and a time period, but it's a contract rate. It's much less common in freight brokerage, although it does happen when you're doing larger bids with larger companies. But in most cases, most care, most customers in this day and age are operating in the spot market. And so and most brokers are operating in the spot market. So the spot market is anything that's not contract, meaning it's a short term rate. It's something that's usually within the next week where they're looking for a load to pick up in the next week you're going to provide them the spot market rate, which is the current market rate. And that can, that can vary, right? Widely based upon seasonality, based on freight, you know, based upon supply and demand of trucks, based on fuel prices, based on, you know, uh, geopolitical climate, all kinds of things. Right. So, so yeah, so spot market is what most brokers operate in. And so there won't really be a difference if it's a pre-scheduled load. I'm not quite sure what that means, but Usually within a week at spot market, most brokers aren't going to quote out. These days, most brokers are not going to quote out loads that are going to go a month or two or three from now. Okay. In most cases, those spot market rates are going to be very volatile and very difficult to determine. All right. So I hope that helps, Mark. Uh, Carlton asks, can you upgrade from gold member to platinum member? Yes. When you are in log in as a gold member, as soon as you enroll as a gold Freightburger Bootcamp member, you'll get a login. You'll be able to log in to the training. And then inside the training, you'll see a link that says upgrade. You'll be able to upgrade to a platinum membership um, at no additional cost from the initial, what, the difference between what you would have paid um, on the uh, bootcamp versus the, or actually it might be slightly, it might be slightly more, but yeah, you can upgrade. You can upgrade. Yes. So just log in and you'll be able to click the upgrade button and you'll be able to upgrade to a platinum member. Okay. Kevin Ford says, I have no experience. What is the best to start? Agent or broker? Broker first. Route seems very risky without any customers. I have said it for years and I'll say it again. If you do not have any experience 
or maybe you've got limited capital or you're risk adverse, the best way to start is to become a freight agent. You have no licensing requirement. You have no bonding requirement. You have no insurance requirement. Your only requirement is to get trained and find a broker that you can work with that will that you guys can partner together and you can start making 50% or more commission on. So the best way to start is a freight agent. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you can't make money as a freight agent, you will not make money as a freight broker. Freight broker has more moving parts. And yes, there's more profit and a bigger upside. But I'm telling you, I have agents that have went through my program. I have agents that are friend of mine, friends of mine that are making 10, 20, 50, or more thousand in profit in their pocket per month as an agent. They don't have to worry about the authority, the bond, the technology. They don't have to worry about any of that. They just sell service and support their shippers, right? It's a much easier job uh, and it still pays really, really well. All right. So that would be my suggestion. If you're, if you're in question about that, Kevin, I would definitely start as an agent and I would recommend that for anybody. That's part of the reason why I did this training, right? So make sure you download that cheat sheet because it's going to walk you through again. The cheat sheet is for the training I did today is freightburgerbootcamp.com forward slash get hired. Okay. Uh, you can download a cheat sheet that goes through all of the steps that I talked about today and um, we'll just kind of guide you through that process. All right. And I promise you that process absolutely works. All right. Let's see. Give me a second. I'm just scrolling through questions here. Okay, so Abby says they usually want me to pay them to use their apps. Well, Abby, if you're going to be using their load boards and you're going to be using maybe their TMS where they're consuming cost, like if you need to get a truck stop or a DAT login because you're operating under their brokerage, that's not uncommon for you have to pay to pay for some of the tools associated with becoming a freight agent. That's not uncommon at all. Okay, so that's very common. Um, you know, you may have to pay for a load board fee or a TMS fee, um, but that's typically it, right? So yeah, and that may be anywhere from a hundred to a couple hundred bucks a month, but you can start very, very inexpensive typically as a, as a, uh, as an agent or as a sub agent. Remember, because agents are being charged for these logins, right? So that would be, I don't think that's that uncommon. So I hope that helps. Uh, I know you're in the New York city or any, yeah, I'm not in the New York city area. I'm in Buffalo. Okay. And no, I'm not hiring because I sold my freight brokerage in 2016. Okay. I did over $200 million in sales of freight broker. Then I sold my freight brokerage. Um, you know, I, so I'm semi-retired. I still have freight broker bootcamp, which is my online education business. Again, I've trained over 10,000 students in that. Um, and I do this, you know, part-time basically uh, is a way to just keep myself busy and to help other people. Again, I've been able to have a, fortunately, I've been able to have a huge impact on some of my students' lives. Many of them are now doing six and seven figures where before they were absolutely broke and destitute and are now doing extremely well. So yeah, I think um, I stick around because of the impact, right? That's the biggest thing that I've been able to do. Um but I did launch the Freightburger Bootcamp job board, right? So you can go to freightburgerbootcamp.com forward slash jobs. And that's a, I pay for all that. It's really expensive. And then any, if you're a freight broker or a freight agent looking to hire, you can go there and post a job, you know, a job, a post a job. Or if you're looking to get hired, you can reply to those jobs. We have hundreds of people that go through there every single month and apply and get hired at different positions. So yeah, so you can check that out at freightburgerbootcamp.com forward slash jobs. It's absolutely free. Okay. So if you're looking to get hired, that's one of the first places you're going to want to go. That's why I included it in the training and it's also a part of the cheat sheet. <sighs> Scrolling, give me a minute. Uh, yeah. Jobs and logistics. All right. So do you know or recommend any other transportation logistic jobs? Like jobs and logistics is good. Indeed.com is good. Those are a couple of others. Yeah. 
But what you're going to find on a lot of those other job boards is they are going to require a book of business or experience. Here's why. Because it costs them money to post that job ad. Okay. And some of those jobs are expensive. Okay. Mine's absolutely free. So you'll find a lot of smaller brokerages will gravitate here and will post the job ad um, because it's free. So that's just my two cents. Uh, Malik says, if I get the top tier membership, like the Platinum Freightburger Bootcamp membership, can that amount be applied to the Freightburger Sales Accelerator program? No, the Freightburger Sales Accelerator is a completely separate program. Nope, completely separate program. We have Bootcamp, which is my startup program, and we have the Sales Accelerator, which is my more advanced Freightburger sales system and training. And I have different products there. I have a self-paced product. I've got a, uh, a five-week coaching program. So I've got a variety of different things there. But no. Uh, one does not apply to the other. Okay. And unusually enough, that's all the questions we have right now. So I'll stick around for about one more minute if anybody has any last minute questions. But here's what I would recommend. Like the stream. Like the stream wherever you're at. Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, wherever you're at. Hit the like button. Um, and if you enjoyed this training, if you enjoyed this training and it had value for you, or you enjoyed the Q&A and it had value for you, give me a rate and review here in the comments. Let me know. Send me a comment. One to 10. One, Dennis, this was terrible. You're, you're the worst trainer ever. Or 10, I loved it. Or anywhere in between. If it's anything less than an eight or nine, give me a reason why. Something I can do, some, something actionable. Or a reason why you gave it a low rating. And I will absolutely do my best to try to change that in future trainings to try to help make this a better experience for everybody. Rate, give me a rating in the comments, one to 10. That would be great. I'd love to hear from you. love to get your feedback. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. A couple more questions before we go. All right. So Hector asks, do you recommend, do you recommend to have cargo insurance starting without having any customers or to wait until a shipper asks for it? I recommend you wait. As a freight broker, you are not required to have contingent cargo. It's, you're not required by the FMCSA. You're not required by anybody to have the have contingent cargo. The carriers, the motor carriers carry primary cargo. You do not need contingent cargo. Matter of fact, it's of very little value to be extremely honest with you, but some shippers require it. So um, they feel like they've got to check that box and for whatever reason they do, but most shippers do not require contingent cargo. You do not need it. And if cash flow is tight, I definitely wouldn't buy it at the beginning. If somebody requires it, and you have a good relationship with them and you feel comfortable with them, you could probably start doing business with them contingent of getting the contingent cargo and then it'll pay for itself, right? Contingent cargo costs can vary depending upon the, the provider and the type of insurance, but it's usually fairly affordable. You know, it's usually a, a couple thousand, a few thousand bucks a year, depending uh, upon the type of coverage. But yeah, I would hold off as long as you can. I started with no contingent cargo. I've had numerous students who have started and built successful businesses without contingent cargo. Right, you can always get it later. Uh, Chiquita asks, "Can you explain what is asset broker role?" Thank you. Okay, so an asset-based broker versus just a broker. An asset-based broker has their own trucks, so they have their own equipment that they own and control. So they have trucks and a brokerage. So they have two different tools that they use to move customers freight. They have their own trucks. They might only have two trucks. They might only have one truck. They might have thousands, but they have their own carrier authority. They have their own assets, anywhere from one or more trucks. And they also have their brokerage authority. That's asset-based. Non-asset-based, meaning they don't have their own trucks. They have their brokerage authority. Maybe, the, you know, there's some 3PLs that are non-asset-based. Maybe they have warehouses. Maybe they have cross docks. Maybe they have ancillary services associated with it. But non-asset based meaning you are not a carrier. You do not have your carrier authority. You do not have any carrier equipment that you own, right? So that's the difference. <laughs> Ozan, I think you might have asked this question before, either when we were in our Freightbroker Sales Accelerator, because Ozan was part of my Freightbroker Sales Accelerator. I think he was also part of my boot camp. but how do you know when is the time to quit trying or try more? 
You know, <laughs> that's a really hard question. How do you know when is the when is the time to quit trying or try more? In most cases, the default is going to be try more. Um, the exception to that is if you are have put yourself into a situation where you're financially um, the negative impact of the financial component is playing too big of a role on you. I mean, I don't want you to go into bankruptcy because you didn't, you know, because you didn't succeed in your freight brokerage, right? I, that's not my goal. That's not what I want. I want you to build a six, seven, eight figure business, right? But I will tell you that mo a lot of the students that I have just talked to and interviewed and had conversations with about, um, about their success after they've gotten over the hill and gotten their customers and started making profit and building a real business. Most of them, it took a lot longer than they thought. Most people think that week one, they're going to get a shipper and they're going to start being profitable month one. That doesn't happen for most people. It does happen. And I've highlighted a bunch of those stories and it does happen for some people, but it doesn't happen for everybody. Matter of fact, I think it was Ajmal Baraksai, which was a recent student I interviewed. It took him four months to get his to move his first load. He didn't make one dollar for four months. Made no profit for four months. Then, in the ten months after that, he did over he did over uh, and in, in but in his first year, within six months after that, he did over seven figures in sales. Made over a million dollars in gross sales, not profit, but gross sales. So, it usually takes longer than you think. So my suggestion to you is, you know, you might want to, I think there's a book called uh, Three Feet from Gold. I think that's a book, the title of a book. And it kind of is a, um, it's an example of a story that talks about how a miner was mining for gold and, you know, he wanted to strike it rich and he thought he was going to strike it rich and he, and he mined and mined and mined and mined and he just, and then he quit. He sold the mine to somebody else and they started mining and within just a short period of time, they hit a huge claim, a huge gold claim and made, you know, theoretically made millions of dollars because they were, it took it, they, they took it to the next step. They continued on. And the problem was he didn't benefit. The original guy never benefited from that because he quit. So that's an example of what happens <laughs> or what can happen. So I'm not going to be able to answer that question for you, Ozan. It's different for everybody. Um, so I hope that helps. I mean, I'm just giving you a brain dump. Okay. Malik, thank you for the feedback. Zulu, thank you for the feedback. Um, Mark Townsend has a question. If you work as a sub agent, do you have to run their niche or can you run your own niche? That'd be something you'd have to discuss with them. Um, that'd be something you'd discuss with them. I don't know. You... If you're, I would think they would let you pursue their niche, but you may have some agents. You'd have to talk about that with them. I've never really even had that question or thought about that, but it is an interesting question. So you would want to ask that uh, as a part of your discovery with that conversation with the sub agent. I have no idea. There are 15,000 plus brokers out there. I have absolutely no idea. And the, the broker, the brokers or agents or people that post to my job board, I can't vet them. I mean, I don't do a background check when they place a free job ad. So that is, you know, enter at your own risk, right? I can't control who posts a job ad there. If someone reports to me that a company is fraudulent and doing something unethical, then I'll remove their job post, but I don't vet them up front. So you have to vet everybody on that job board, just like you'll vet anybody that you would ever go to work with or partner with. All right. Great. So thank you so much for being here. I hope, I'm glad you guys appreciated it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Make sure you get the cheat sheet. Oh, that's not the cheat sheet. Get the cheat sheet for how to get hired as a freight agent, five simple steps. Go to freightburgerbootcamp.com forward slash get hired. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button and the all notification bell so you get notified every time I do a new training. Again, thank you so much for being here. Have an awesome week. I'll be back Monday, next Monday with another Freight Burger Bootcamp Live. Enjoy the week. Have a profitable week and we'll talk to you soon.